was good. We back. All ticket podcast. There we go. Triple P Paul Pickett podcast. I'm your host, the one and only Paul Pickett, aka the Common Sense Podcast. Your source for music, sports, and politics. Only got a couple topics to get into. Um, also, don't forget uh, my podcast is sponsored by Pro Pilots LLC at PromoPilots.biz. If you need online marketing promotions for your brand or your music, please check me out at PromoPilots.biz. Also, if you're a dog lover, a cat lover, animal li- animal rights activist, animal lover, you like t-shirts, you like hoodies, please go to newlitter.com. Check out New Litter Apparel. We also got dog apparel, like uh, dog bandanas and whatnot. And for Shizzle, I got to shout out one of my favorite brands, Dizzle. Check them out, Dizzle. The Dizzle brand, Dizzle.com, Dizzlebrand.com. Check them out. Um, they got recipes on there. Follow them on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and whatnot. All right. Ben Simmons wants out, apparently. Um, ben Simmons is not going to get to go where he wants to go, first of all. Like, who really wants Ben Simmons? Not too many teams are going to want Ben Simmons to pay this guy $40 million to shoot 37%. For free throws in the playoffs, which is worse in NBA history, and pass up wide open dunks when you're six foot ten, and Trey Young's under the basket. You know, like his confidence looks shot. Um, I understand, yeah, he's never gonna be a jump shot shooter, but damn, thirty something percent from free throws. I mean, you gotta do better than that. And I mean, as big as he is, they could play him like Giannis and. He should be doing a hell of a lot more. You know, but uh, Ben Simmons, I don't know where he's going to end up going. I know people are saying trade uh, Ben Simmons for Draymond. That could work. But then Golden State's got to worry about 37% free throw percentage in the playoffs. And they got to worry about is he going to pass up a wide, wide open and dunk. Um, I see him probably get traded like Minnesota. You know, now if Port- for Portland, for Dane Lillard, I mean, if I'm the Sixers, I do that. If I'm the Blazers, I definitely don't do that. Unless Dane Lillard comes out and says he wants to get traded. Unless he demands a trade, I would not do that. You know, but um, I see him going like Minnesota, maybe trading for like D'Angelo Russell, Malik Beasley, and some picks. You know, and then you have Ben Simmons, Anthony Edwards, and Carl Anthony Towns. You know, that might could work. Carl Anthony Towns likes to shoot threes a lot, spread the floor. Anthony Edwards definitely could be your number one guy. You know what I'm saying? Make Carl Anthony Towns your number two and make Ben Simmons your number three. You know, and that could be a nice little three. Ben Simmons, Carl Anthony Towns, and Anthony Edwards. You know? But, uh, Ben Simmons' stocks, they went down. I mean, teams, they saw what we saw. Everybody in the world saw that, man. You know, they saw Ben Simmons' confidence just demolished, crushed, you know, minimized. The whole world saw it. Anybody watching basketball saw it. You know, so his stocks are down. Um, This idea that a bunch of teams really want him. No, they don't. They really don't. I'm sorry. For defense, that's it. You know, at this point, that's all Ben Simmons is really good, great for his defense. I mean, he can facilitate, but I don't know, man. I think he's playing out of position. He's probably shooting with the wrong hand and free throws. He probably doesn't work hard enough on the offseason. You know, he probably doesn't really want to be great. And I'm going to tell you what, if he thinks he's going to get another big contract like he did, playing like he is, he's sadly mistaken. He is sadly mistaken. He ain't going to get another big contract doing like that, you know, when your stocks is on the way down and teams are questioning, you know. You definitely ain't got no mama mentality, I can tell you that. Ben Simmons is the complete opposite of a mama mentality, complete opposite. 
right, let me get to this uh, next little topic. Before I do, hit that click down, subscribe button in the right hand corner. If you're on Instagram or Facebook, hit that follow, hit the like, you can reshare. You know, anything to show you love and support, I appreciate it. You know, two thumbs up to that. Um, Cam Newton gets released. Oh, also, Gar- my bad, Gardner Minshew gets traded to the Eagles, of course. You know, we knew that was going to eventually happen. And the Eagles definitely could use Gardner Minshew because just in case Jalen Hurts doesn't, you know, play so well or he gets hurt. Gardner Mitchell is a real good backup. I don't know why Dallas didn't go after him. Dallas probably could have used him, you know. But Gardner Mitchell to the Eagles, I think, is 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 a good good look, good fit. Cam Newton gets released. Um, some people are saying it has a lot to do with him not being vaccinated. Um, if it does, then. That just goes to show you, man, that all these people are taking this leftist democratic political stance. You know, and, and yeah, Cam Newton didn't play well, but just throw Mac Jones into the fire. I don't know if it's going to go well. I don't know if it's going to go well for New England. Throwing them in the fire, I don't know if it's going to be that great a year that they think. I couldn't be wrong, you know. But I don't think their, their season is going to be that great. I think they'll be the third best team in the AFC. Just throw them in the fire. I would at least did with, with um, uh, I heard somebody say about, I think it was uh, Shannon Sharp, Uncle Shannon said uh, about Chicago and Andy Dalton. Throw Andy Dalton to the Wolves first, let him, you know, throw him to the Wolves first. Let the old boys sit a couple games. And once you get, to, you know, because the first two games you kind of got to play is like L.A. and somebody else, L.A. and Cleveland or something. <laughs> so throw them to the Wolves, then bring in, you know, the the uh, rookie. And that's what I think they should do also, man. Like, but uh, New England is throwing them, throwing them to the Wolves. They go with the rookie. Um, I don't know that Mac Jones is going to be successful this year. Um, I don't know that Cam Newton is going to play for a team this year. I don't see where he goes. Maybe Dallas. Maybe Baltimore. That's all I really see. Dallas or Baltimore. Um, I don't know. Maybe Atlanta needs a backup. He goes back home to Atlanta. Cam Newton, if he's not willing to be a backup, his career could be over. It could possibly be over. But I don't like the fact that Never sitting there and using any kind of decision based on he won't get vaccinated. Like, because it's all political, man. It's all political. I go to the store every day, every other day, no mask. This whole time during the pandemic, I've been to the store. Like, like I've not gotten sick once in three years. This idea that I could get sick around people in the grocery store that are just close to me in a matter of just seeing them in minutes. It's bogus, man. It's bogus. You got to be around people a lot longer than that to get sick. This idea that we're going to the grocery store and we're going to the convenience store and get sick is bogus. Now, all due respect, Cam, it was the workplace and you are around people for hours. So, even though I don't like it that they're sitting there saying, um, you can't work this job because you won't put something in your body that we are forcing, that we want to force you to put in your body, I don't like that. I don't like that. Like, nobody, you know, it's kind of like when I hear Common saying, I didn't do Coca-Cola commercials because I don't drink Coke. I'm a vegan. I don't, like, why would I support anything I don't put in my body? You know what I'm saying? This idea that they're trying to force us to put something in our body that we might not want, that we might not be 100% confident or trustworthy about. 
and this idea that you know that like even the vaccines have like a one percent mortality rate, like a one percent rate of having any kind of side effects or whatever. Nobody wants to be that one percent. No parent wants their kid to be that one percent. Nobody wants to be that one percent. And that's what the one percent. That's the same thing with COVID. Whether we take the vaccine or not, it's a one percent. It's one percent. Ninety, like ninety-eight point something percent of people recover from COVID. It's less than two percent of people that are dying. Less than two percent. So it's one point something percent, like one point four percent. It doesn't matter if you take the vaccine. You're the one point four percent. If you don't take the vaccine, it's one point four percent. Still. So what does it matter if I take the vaccine or not? And if I'm not around a lot of people ever, I work alone, I live alone, you, like, you know, I just don't like to the politicize this to try to fire people because they ain't taking the vaccine. They're taking away people's kids. I've seen it takes some of these kids away from her because she's not vaccinated, you know. They're not going to let you go to a restaurant if you're not vaccinated, let you go here if you're not vaccinated, you know. It's bogus, man. We're talking about 1%. And it's not, it's not 99% of the people's responsibility to take care of 1% of the population. It's not even one person's responsibility to take care of 99% of the population. It is not, it, you're responsible for yourself. You know, so I, I just don't, I don't know, man. I don't like this, these sports teams taking these, you know, democratic stance on these vaccines. These businesses taking this stance. This is all going to backfire in the long run. I hope they know. You sit there and fire a bunch of people because they won't take the, they're not going to take the vaccine. Like half of the people in America have not been vaccinated. So you're just going to fire half the people in America. Good luck. Y'all, a lot of places can't even find jobs. Like, a lot of places I've seen can't even find workers right now. A lot of places can't even find workers right now. You, I, you got places trying to hire 14 and 15-year-olds because they can't find workers. But y'all want to go ahead and fire half of the population because they're not vaccinated. Good luck with that because you're not going to force all of us to get vaccinated just because you want to fire people and we can't go here, we can't go there. person like me, I live alone and work alone. I just order all my groceries. And everything online, have it delivered. And if I need anything that I have to go to the convenience store for, I'll just go to the snack shop that has the walk-up drive-through window where I don't got to go in. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm outside, you ain't going to make me wear no mask if I'm outside. I'm sorry. If I go into a restaurant, I go into a grocery store, they, they want me to wear a mask, I respect their rules. I respect their rules. Because I expect people to respect my rules when you're in my apartment or you're in my place of business. You know what I'm saying? So I respect other people's rules in their place of business. So they, but when, once I'm outside, I go by my rules. I live rules by my, my life on my own terms, not by anybody else's terms. You know? And if I haven't been sick in three years, why do I got to get vaccinated and masked up? Just so I don't get sick? Because I haven't been sick in three years, so I'm not getting nobody sick. And this idea that we're all going to get somebody sick just because we're not wearing masks, stop it, man. Stop it. It's bogus, man. You got to be around people for hours at a time, man. I'm telling you. Breakfast Club got guests coming in all the time, man. No, no masks. Ain't no. Stop it, man. Stop it. You know, so yeah, I don't know. Can't place for another team. You want to accept being a backup. And another thing, man, we gotta stop acting like dudes are just like great players because they have one amazing season. Yeah, one amazing season in college and one amazing season in pros. I mean, he had a good rookie season, but after that, you know, it was just like. And then he had one great season, went to the Super Bowl, and got plummeted in the Super Bowl. And ever since then, you know, he's never been a pocket passer. You can't run forever. You know, running quarterbacks are like running backs, man. They got a shelf life. 
They're like rappers. They got a shelf life, man. Shelf life. Doesn't last forever. Lamar Jackson, what he's doing is not going to last forever. Of course, Lamar Jackson is a better passer than Cam Newton. I would say that much. He's a better passer than Cam Newton. Um, don't forget, hit that click now, subscribe button, hit that like, hit that share. Um, that's really all I got today. Not a lot of stuff going on here. That's about to start. Um, I'm going to get into some more music topics as they keep coming in. More political topics as they keep coming in. Of course, the Cam Newton is kind of political to me because, you know, anything dealing with COVID has been politicized. I don't care what anybody says. Anything dealing with COVID has been politicized because you got a political stance being taken where the Democrats are acting like people who don't take the vaccine or domestic terrorists, like we're threatening other people's lives. I ain't, I ain't been sick in three years. I ain't threatening nobody's life. If, it, if anything, you're threatening my life. If anything, I should be worried about you wearing a mask, you being vaccinated, and don't worry about me. Worry, worry about yourself. That's the problem. People need to worry about themselves in society. Stop worrying about everybody else. All up in everybody else's business, worrying about the next man vaccinated, or if he got COVID, or if he's wearing a mask, or if he's voting for Trump, or if he's voting for Biden. Stop it, man. Mind your business, man. Worry about yourself. All right, once again, one day you're tuning in. My name is Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, Triple P, a.k.a. the Common Sense Podcast. Don't forget the audio version. goes to Apple, Google, Spotify, Amazon, Odyssey, CastBox, Deezer, Iron Flavor FM, Podcast Addict, Podchasers, Intertune, and more. Video version goes to Instagram, TV, Facebook, and YouTube. And don't forget this podcast is sponsored by Promo Palace LLC and Promo Palace.biz. Don't forget, shout out to the Dizzle. Check out the shirts. Dizzle. Dizzle brand. You know how we do. Dizzlebrand.com. Also, newlitter.com. Newlitter apparel. For dog, dog, dog lovers. Dog lovers. Cat lovers. Animal lovers. Animal rights activists. Whatever it may be. You like t-shirts, hoodies, and more. Go check out newlitter.com. Check out dizzlebrand.com. Check out promocollar.biz. Email me at promopalace one at gmail.com. That's promopalace, the number one at gmail.com. If you got any questions or any inquiries, once again, thank you for tuning in. And if you've been tuning in constantly, I want to thank you double, you know. And I'm out. Yours truly, the one and only Paul Hassan.